Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Chapter 6 Where everything is almost tidy again I say almost, because... Yeah, but it's better than nothing This was your doing, wasn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure of it, this was, this is you, you naughty dog Don't look at me like that Whatever you're not allowed in there, though. That's where all the important stuff is. Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Skyrim Chapter 6. It has been a few weeks since we uh, were made Harbinger by Codlac. We've sort of got gotten ourselves settled in, mostly. Um, and it's kind of time we uh, got our shit together and got back out there and, you know, doing that hero stuff that we're... Well, you know, it's not like we get paid to do it, but it's, I think it's apparently our job. It's our job by divine mandate, if nothing else. Uh, how am I doing for food? I have no idea. Having said I don't get paid. Uh, <laughs> okay, we've got some food, at least. Um, water skins and things, that's okay. I'm now using I need instead of realistic needs and diseases for those that are unaware. I don't know how much my mod setup has changed. Full updated list will be in the description as per usual. I just cannot recall exactly what I chopped and changed since the end of chapter 5 because it's been quite a long time. Um, I know I've installed a bunch of nice juicy quest mods, but other than that I can't quite remember. I know, we've, I know we're running with I, I need now instead of realistic needs and diseases, but beyond, beyond that I can't quite remember. Uh, to, to, to be honest. So, question is, what's on the old to-do list? We've got, well, this, obviously, I guess is a new mod, it would appear. Uh, I'd rather that wasn't in my quest journal, but it just sort of appears there as soon as you install a mod. But there it is. Apparently we've heard a rumour of an ancient blade called the Ice Blade of the Monarch. The, uh, apparently the guy in search of it was arrested near the College of Winterhold. Go to Winterhold Jail and search for the adventurer, assuming he's still alive, so... I guess maybe we'll investigate that at some point if we ever find ourselves in Winterhold. Briarheart Necropsy. Yeah, we need to examine a Briarheart Warrior for Master Naloth. Lest we forget. Look for Wolf's Brother Torkel. That's not going to happen, I'm afraid. That's a Solsheim thing. We're done with that. Talk to Angir at the Throat of the World about some sort of shout that was used in ancient times to defeat Alduin. Uh, we also need to investigate Bodan's lead in Falkreath. For those who don't recall, and to be honest with you, I don't recall much of it myself. This was a very long time ago. But we agreed to help out Anumlar, the Swamp Knight, our Argonian companion, who is upstairs somewhere at present. We agreed to lend her a hand because she got in touch with one of her old compadres from her little mercenary gang she used to be in, or rather they got in touch with her, and basically informed her that someone has been killing them all off systematically, all the members of this former mercenary group. And we agreed to let give her a hand. So her friend Bodan, who we went to meet, had some sort of lead um, in Falkreath. I don't know what on exactly, but um, yeah, we met him at the camp near Falkenthur. Uh And yeah, we can learn more about the Honourable Eight, which is the name of the group they were in, if we're in Yorvaska. So we might talk to her about that in a bit. Um, but yeah, we need to go to Falkreath to investigate this lead. And I think we really, really should, because we were supposed to have done this even before we went to Solstheim. And now, we, now we've come back from Solstheim, and we've still not done this. And I feel really bad, because we told her we would, and you know. So, there's, yeah, there's still the whole reunification of Skyrim thing. There's obviously the Winterhold hold thing. Um, we got to go regain Winterhold at some point. It's... I th I'm I'm kind of I've my my taste for for murdering stormcloaks is is waning these days. I'm not looking forward to doing any more of that. Um, we've got bigger problems to deal with anyway. Uh, we've we've helped enough. We've regained the rift and the pale for 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 the empire. If they can't figure out Winterhold by themselves at this point, then we'll have to deal with it at some point. But right now, we've got other shit other shit to do. Um. We need to bring a tr bring Trollfat and Daedrahart to Etub. 
But Lagerish Burr, apparently. That we will never be able to complete because Reigns is dead. And we need to go speak to the leader of the Dawn Guard and try and sort out this vampire menace, which, and, I, and it really is a menace because they're appearing freaking everywhere now and they're attacking us in towns and it's getting very, very irritating. So, at some point very, very soon, I intend to go to speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard at Fort Dawn Guard, which is somewhere southeast of Rifton, if I recall correctly. We've got some other uh, miscellaneous stuff. Um, we have a necklace from one of the Skarl um, to give to Runil in Falkreath as well, so that's another thing to do while we're in Falkreath. Um, bring Hjalti's sword to the ghost of Old Herolden. Yep, yeah, we kind of ignored that at the time. Find the source of power in Lost Valley Redoubt. Um, and a bunch of other stuff, really. Yeah, so we've got things to do. First of all, though, we're going to go speak to Anamlar upstairs. Also, I have been informed by some of the others that we have a guest up here in Yorvaska who wants to speak to me. So we could, we better go talk to him as well. Why are these stairs always an issue to get up? I keep getting stuck on them. It's very irritating. Anyway. There we got Greg, Animalars over here. Hello, 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 hello. How you doing? Uh, what was the bad choice that, your, that made your company uh, that your company made? What caused you to split up? I don't think we've heard this. The job was simple: clear out a cave of necromancers that were terrorizing one of the clans that resided near the border. The clan said a hatchling had gone missing. And rumors were abound of corpses stolen for experiments, and live bodies turned into corpses. What did you find in the cave? When we got there, the shadow scale Ula Wayne scouted ahead as the rest of us waited near the entrance. He found bear traps and trip wires. The occupants were further in, he said. Black robe mages chanting. The whole thing stunk like a Thalmor's wet diaper. Traps or no, bandits usually post sentries in and outside the cave. The Nord, Ardwolf though, he got tired of all the standing around. Black robes and ominous words, good enough for him. What? Dalum the hell? Gave him Where did the lights go? Couldn't chance it. Some poor hatchling could have been on a table. About to become some sick bastard's war puppet. Did you rescue the child? Sadly, no. The child was on the table, like Ula Wei said. But she was already dead. The people around her were mourners. Black robes. They were refugees from Cyrodiil. Altmer, Kajit, and Argonian. Driven from Leoween. To the clans, they might as well have been rapes. I don't know who struck first. It didn't matter. We killed them all. Well, all except one. Who was it? It was an Imperial boy, hiding in a small crevice in the rock. I didn't know who he was, or if he was even with the refugees. The boy was a mute. Part of me thought it would be better to slay him. But another part of me saw the hatchling in the swamp, just trying to survive till morning. The company disbanded. Honor brought us together, and dishonor drove us apart. Me and the healer, Elia, went north. The boy, he followed. He split up in Bravo. Don't know why he chose me. Seems to me he was better off with a Breton. But as I kept going north, he never left my side. Uh. Um. I, I'm not 
entirely... I don't know, I don't know if I any, agree with any of these. Let's just go with yeah, this one. The boy probably wanted a mother and not a score of fathers to share it with. Huh. I don't think Elia would have wanted him around either. Males grow squeamish at the mere talk of children, let alone the sight of one. What happened to him? I kept going north, figuring at some point the boy would stop following me. Gotta give it to the little runt. He had courage. Eventually, I realized I could have walked right into the sea of ghosts. And the little hissed carp would have dove right in. So how did you two part ways? I was halfway through the marsh when I decided to head back to Mortal. I turned to the pesky urchin and told him, All right, you win. Imagine my surprise when I found myself talking to a patch of death bells. <laughs> there was no one there. Some may ask why I'm a knight without armor. Others contend I wear the mourner's clothes to honor the brave warriors I slay. Oh, is that what these are? Those in my company will tell you I wear it to mourn the refugees who died that day. And all the innocents who died in the pangs of war. I will tell you that there's only one thing in this world I truly mourn. My sanity. <laughs> I see. Alright then, well, having said that. Uh, follow me. Leave, brave one. And I having said all that about wearing mourner's robes and things, Lead I've actually on, got some brave presents brave. for you. Uh, trace the things sure. you. What do you need? I got stuff for you. I brought back from Salt Time. You're welcome. Uh, I've got a camera and you can't wear all this. This is irritating. Um, you can have that and that, and I'll have to take another thing off you now. I didn't realize you were loaded down with so much crap. Holy Jesus Christ, animal! Aren't they? This is this is crazy. This is crazy pants stuff. Okay, there you go. The oh, that was. Out. The scales are for a fight. Uh, trade some things sure. with you. Blah 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 blah. Still, I think there were other things too. I think there was a yeah, glacial crystal, heavy shield, and I think I had a cloak for you. Uh, not that one. There you go. I'm behind you. It's not bad. It's quite Nordic, isn't it? But. You know, not bad. What is it? You look like you have something on your mind. Don't worry, it'll pass. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, you're sorted. Okay. Awesome. Um, I I kind of want to go dump this stuff downstairs now, so I'll be right back. Okay, that's now sorted. I uh, inventory management. It's just. Uh, I hate it, but, you know, I can't run around carrying extra suits of armor, it's just stupid. Anyway, you're looking pretty good now. You've got this sort of icy blue, magic-y, sort of, I don't know, theme going on. And it seems to work for you, so uh, we'll leave it at that. And I also gave you a glass scimitar as well, because I had one of those knocking around. That I figured you might as well have. It's a bit of a mishmash of stuff, but, you know... I don't think you really mind. You don't strike me as a person who cares much about looks. I mean, you're supposed to be wearing your black mourner's robes, but, I mean, you're just going to die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's symbolic and everything, but I'd rather you didn't just get clubbed on the head by a giant and instantly die. So in a better place, and you get to keep his bed. <laughs> but, Traveler, I can't think of a person more deserving. See, that's why I keep you around. You actually say nice things. Honor to you, my fame. So do you sometimes, but it's a bit repetitive, so... Anyway. Honor to you, my fame. You're looking at a real warrior. At least I used to be. I'm in charge around here now, Vignar. Don't test my patience. Anyway, where's this new fella? Your sword and your shield. Oh, this must be him. God, watch over your battles, friend. Roderick Redbeard. Hello. Who are you? Roderick Redbeard of the Sverd at your service. Also a former companion of sorts, I am now seeking to regain entry into this elite 
organization. Uh, why did you leave the companions? I had a disagreement with Karlak over the conditions for entering the circle. As you undoubtedly know, it involves that werewolf nonsense. Uh, right, yeah. Stupid and absurd, I call it. I had proven myself in battle, and yet someone tells me I have to be one of Hersene's dogs to gain acceptance? I told them I'd sooner drink piss than imbibe that foul bitch's blood. So I left. That was close to two decades ago. Very well. What can you bring to the companions? I was swinging a sword when I slid out of my mother's birth canal. Not literally, though I probably flailed the umbilical cord in a menacing fashion. <coughs> I have been a warrior my entire life, and this sword arm has felled hundreds of men, mare, and beasts. I do not know fear or pain. I embrace death. How many of these piss-drinking buffoons here can say the same? Most of them fondle each other and dance around endlessly in the courtyard. I believe in action and honoring the gods and my ancestors through glorious violence. Show me the enemy and I will deliver his balls on a platter. He seem enthusiastic enough, I suppose. Did you like the speech? I've been practicing it for some time. Prospective employers always eat up the pit about gods and ancestors. Look, I'm not exactly in my prime, but I can still hold my own in a scrape. The important thing is that I can help the companions regain prestige. I don't like to speak ill of the dead, and while I was a friend of Godlack, he was not the brightest candle in the hall, you know? Just look around this place. Most of these idiots couldn't lace up a pair of boots correctly, much less handle real jobs. I saw Farkas gnawing on a shoe when I walked in here. Ayla <laughs> is practically foaming at the mouth, and the others are just idle drunks. If you're tired of pummeling drunks and corralling wild animals, let me help you. I have contacts who can feed us good, lucrative work. All you have to do is let me back in, and I'm your man. Yeah, you've got a point. I mean, I'm getting a little tired of this whole let's go beat up random people, like bartenders and stuff. That really strikes me as kind of... I, I, I'd like to put a stop to that, if at all possible. It just seems wrong. Um, why do you suddenly want to rejoin the companions, then? As a Nord, I want the companions to be a point of pride for Skyrim, not some object of fun and embarrassment. When I heard that the new Harbinger had taken over, I thought it might be worth my while to give it a go one more time. I also want to serve the companions as a point of family pride. My grandpa, the great Annan Redbeard, he served with distinction. He was a great patriarch, he died in battle, we all revere his memory, and I believe he watches me now. So, for the sake of my Grandpa Anand and the entire Redbeard clan, I wish to serve the companions once more. Um, alright then, very well, you may rejoin the companions, I suppose. Thank you, you won't regret it. I already have a new job lined up, let me know when you're interested. Okay. Interesting fellow. Alright. I'm kind of heading out anyway, so what's the first job? Giants. You hate them. I hate them. We all hate them. Big, lumbering bastards, stealing cattle, and smashing people into paste. I once had a prostitute who followed me on my adventures. She was a nifty archer, believe it or not. It all ended when she attacked a giant. He brought down that club and the earth itself quaked. I remember seeing her soar like a distant bird, <laughs> almost touching the clouds. <laughs> Poor thing. Not a bad way to go when you think about it. Anyway, there is some type of alpha giant causing trouble outside White Run. This would be bad enough, but it seems the monster is addled on sleeping tree sap, so he's constantly <laughs> experiencing violent hallucinations. Most okay. Most keep their distance, but this one is rabid. 
He sees a wagon, thinks it's a pack of Dremor out to steal his beeves, so he attacks. The name of this creature is Thrivold, like Ribald. Thrivold the Ribald. Would have made a good saga. I should have been a bard. So, good luck. I'm intending to Will you piss off, Tilma? Seriously. Um. You have a strange accent. Shores, shaft. I swear, everywhere I go in this land, my own people asking me, "What is your accent, kinsman? Have you heard the range of of dialects in this strange <laughs> land?" I swear, I go to one place and they talk like this. I go, I go to another place and it's like, "Hello, hello, kinsman. It's good to meet a fellow Nord. Would you like some meat? Another stereotypical." Uh, Nord activities. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. People who fret over the accents, just like the fretting over which letter goes where, they should get the bloody hook. That is just my opinion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, where are you from? I hail from Egerheim. Now that might just be another obscure Nord word to you, but it's home for me. It's an island, north of the coast, west of Solstein, up there it's the terrible weather all the time, lots of horkers, that's the way of life. We drink, we fight, we procreate, those are our priorities, so it kind of, the, the population stays steady year round because of those, those things. We are called the Sverd, alright, we value the sword, you get a sword when you come of age, the papa says, boy take the sword, Everything you have, you get from the sword. Kill people, fall on the sword, <laughs> cut apples. I don't care. It comes from this the sword. <laughs> now you can imagine, with all the swords and the alcohol, there is a, a lot of uh, rivalry between different families. Unfortunately, I had to leave at a tender age. My wife had died from the plague. I was angry, so I cut off a man's head. Yeah, it was the grief. Everybody grieves differently. I cut off a man's head. So, there was this vendetta thing, revenge. So, I took a boat and I leave. And I sell my sword. And that was, uh, that is how it works. I have not been back since. What's your preferred fighting style then? I, I prefer the sword and the axe at the same time. It is best at making the enemy dead for me. Uh, to me, combat, it, uh, it's like making love to a woman. Uh, there is the first collision of the flesh, then uh, some movement back and forth, <laughs> some touching, uh, eye contact, very intense, and then the fateful thrust and some yelling. <laughs> One of my favorite moves, and maybe you've done this, I take the sword and like a Thalmor, I did this to one, I jam it right under his chin, he was like a puppet, you know, with the eyes doing circles. It was, it was very enjoyable. I mean, he bled all over me, and I'm pretty sure he shit himself. But uh, this happens sometimes when people die quickly. <laughs> okay, um, you you have a pretty casual attitude about killing the Thalmor. I mean, so do I these days, but still. Why wouldn't I have a casual attitude? What are they going to do? Torture me? Kill me? I grew up getting all manner of beatings and torture from my own relatives. I'm more scared of my own grandmother Helga than of the bloody elves. You want to talk about torture, she would take a switch and she would beat the bottom of my feet for a days on end. I'm not scared of any elves. My older brothers, for fun, would punch me and kick me. Random times, I had to be on my guard. You wonder how I'm so quick. Let me tell you about Roderick's experiences with torture. When I was working as a mercenary, fought on horseback for a great deal. Uh, one time I was fighting these crazy cultists. I'm going to kill them. Going real well, uh, but unfortunately I get ambushed. They catch me in the open. 30 on 1. I fight so hard. Uh, I get shot with arrows. Now don't laugh. This serious, this really happened. Shot with arrow in my testicle, and the testicles still work. I, I heal. <laughs> Restoration of magic. Very, 
underrated school of magic. <laughs> and they're coming at me from all directions. They're screaming crazy things. And I'm like, oh, not today, dog. And I smashed their face in. 29 cultists fell by my hammer. The last one with his little bow and arrow. I come down, I swing, I hit the horse by accident. Kill his horse. Then he jumps with sword. He slices me and I go unconscious. And then I am taken prisoner. So you say, what did they do to you as prisoner? Oh, let me tell you. The first tolerable, the beatings, the cutting, uh, the red hot poker touching up against me. I see people get burn faces and they turn it into lifelong drama. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't cry to me, little baby. They did uh, other <sighs> things I do not want to discuss. It was unpleasant. I do not believe that Dalmor can do any worse. I managed to get free, take a horker task, kill a few, pick up the weapons, and then methodically in the night, um, I cut the balls off each one, <laughs> slit their throat, and put the balls in their mouth. <laughs> that experience was also a factor in my decision to return to Skype, to put it mildly. See you later. Yeah, see you later. Um... Yeah, there's nothing else to talk about, is there, good. Um, and help me turn my life around. Oh, piss off. Hey! <laughs> so! That, that was a conversation that happened. Uh, I need to eat something. And I still need to eat something. And I still need to eat something. Now we're, do now we're good, okay, right. Right, okay, let's go kill a giant, shall we? Uh... Backpack, uh, cloak, uh, circlet, magic crossbow circlet, um, and we're, okay, good, the, the metal mouse button is in fact working. Right, we've got you, should we bring anyone else? You're someone who can get things done. I Greg, like Farkas. Yeah, you know what, we'll probably be fine. I'm getting a bit overpowered these days anyway. More than one would probably be pushing it. And besides, I think when we get to Falkreath, I'd, I'd like to try and track down Brack to see if he's still about. Who was that sort of grunty orc that we met in Falkreath that one time when we had that big banquet thing and we got completely shit faced? Do you remember that? No, you weren't with us when we did that, were, were you? No. That was awesome. It was brilliant. We basically killed Hercene's avatar and then we ate him for dinner. It was the best. It's no fun getting pushed around I had to throw away half the meat in the end because we had too much of it, but still. I didn't mean Do you get this very often? what am I saying? Of course you don't. He said to the harbinger of the fucking companions, refill one skins. Jesus! Personal space, much. Drink. And drink. There we go. Okay, we're sorted. Weather's shit. Never mind. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, bring in the shield would be a good idea. I must forgot I had it, frankly. Never mind. Okay, now I'm running crazy slow because... Can I run slower with the shield equipped? Probably a little bit, but I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're wearing heavy armor. I forgot it makes me run crazy slow. Yeah, okay, so there's a giant that needs killing. Near White Run, I should check the map, shouldn't I, really? It's just typical, really. I install an ENB finally, and, and the game is just like, oh, yeah, okay, so I hear you installed this ENB. Have a load of shitty weather. So that you can't see it in action properly. Okay, it's just over here. So, Thrivold, the hallucinating, so super ultra violent giant, is here. I kind of wanted to walk through Riverwood because we've not been to Riverwood in ages. But it'd be easier if we just went boom and then down here, and then we just we go round Lake Illinolta and we 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 get to you know Falkreath that way. Go past Half Moon Mill and yeah, all right then let's do that. Oh, right, I forgot. Yeah, you, you have issues because you're a companion and stuff. 
So we have to go the long way around. I can't just jump off the side. I feel completely warm. Oh man, I've, I, Jesus Christ, it's been so long since I played this game. I, I forgot Frostfall was even a thing. Am I wrapped up warm enough? Probably. Hopefully. Maybe I should put my helmet on. By which I mean my badass fucking... Where is it? My dragonborn squid face. Hello, horse! Who I still have yet to name, and you probably will never get a name, but, you know, just deal with it, I guess. Magically summon your horse, which has <laughs> got all the equipment piled on it. I forgot about that. All right, let's go this way. To 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 where are we going exactly? What's it called? Sleeping Tree Camp. Okay. Right, yeah, because he's got Sleeping Tree Sap. That makes sense. It feels really dark. It's probably not that dark. It's just, it's the middle of the morning, and the sun is shining in through the windows behind my screen, and it's making everything on the screen appear really, really super do duper dark. Um, it just reminds me that does actually... I've got a travel lantern now. I've got wearable lanterns back on. Um, we do still have night vision, as you can see, but I don't really want to use it, because we're not a werewolf anymore. And I can't, I don't know whether we've still got it because we've got the Ring of Her scene, or whether we've still got it because it's a bug. Either way. Oh god, fighting on horseback. Do you like your combat to be as awkward and irritating as possible? Then fight on horseback today! And here we are. I, right now, I don't think that's a missing or bug texture over there, that, that tree. I think it's actually meant to be purple. It's probably the one thing in the game that is meant to be purple. So, we need to get in here, because there's a cave entrance, I think, we need to get to. However, we got a mammoth and a giant in the way, and this is going to be problematic. The problem with giants is it doesn't freaking matter how high level you are. These motherfuckers will still send you flying into orbit, I think. So, you've come to kill your friend. Would you like to let us pass without a fight? Because that would make things a lot easier. You you and both your mammoths. I know I'm kind of high level, but I still don't relish the prospect of fighting you three right now. But we'll just... Come on. We'll, yeah, we'll go around this way. We'll go around this way. Come on. Um, okay, here we go. Around here. The giant's here must play to the sleeping tree. No crazier than Talus worship, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I suppose you're probably right. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? Oh. Right. Surprise! Thrivold! Yes, this is the gentleman in question. Oh god. Pleased to be dying now. Oof. Okay. Job's done. Oops. Like my, my lantern was in fact on, I just didn't... Hang on, is, what's the radius set to it? Set on it? I mean, it seems a little... A little shit. Oh, there we go, that's what it should be set to. That's better. A bit better. Thrivold! You've got a cave bear pelt, a dwarven arrow, giant's toes. Alright. Glass mace. I, uh, maybe I should give that to Animal Art. Nah, screw it. She's got a scimitar. It's fine. Mammoth Tusk, Hawker Tusk. Werewolf Pelts. 
Sleeping tree sap. I will take that. Is there anything I can be bothered to take? Um, Ulag. Hello, Ulag. I'll get to you in a second. Just where did the other giant end up? Elder Giant Berserker. Einherjar Brigandine Dark Curus. Uh huh. Wow. Thank you very much. And the rest you can. Yeah, you can keep. Okay. Cloak, white burlap, blah 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 blah. Sleeping tree sap. Isolder's message. Speak to Isolder about sleeping tree sap. Don't try to stiff me on this deal, Ulag. I can tell I can talk the Khajiit caravans into a better price than you'd be able to, and the guards are still looking for you after that little skooma incident. Just bring the sap to me in White Rune, like we discussed. Isolder. Okay. Ulag's knapsack. I uh, don't want any of this. I'll take these to sell. Ulag's journal. Entry 1. It's been almost a week now since my exile from Dushnik Yarl. Got caught hitting the skooma and was deemed unworthy by Chief Burguk. I was on my way to becoming a great blacksmith to rival even the chief's forge wife. Now I'm left wandering the lands until I can prove myself worthy again. If they own only knew the great pleasure one gets from it, they wouldn't dare cast me out like this. Arg, I still... I miss the sweet essence of skooma. I must get myself preoccupied. This journal is helping a bit, I guess. What else can I do after hunting? I used to hammer on metal whenever I consumed my stash. Until I could score some more. Now, all I got is this blasted piece of bundle of paper. Hmm. Maybe I should try scaring off a few travellers for gold and get myself another stash from Reside. I made a, I make a good bandit, haha. -ha. A couple more idiots and I'd be swimming in skooma. I almost got caught by a group of patrolling guards. That was a close one. Maybe not such a good idea anymore. That one arrow grazed my neck a few more inches and I would have been bleeding to death. It's been almost a month now. Being sober from skooma, I think I'm finally clearing up. What was I thinking? I don't need it anyway. I best go to White Run. White Run. Uh, cool off or something. Always wanted to see the Sky Forge and find out what all the big fuss is about. Hmm, so this is White Run. Not too bad. I still prefer an Orc stronghold than mingling with this light skinned milk drinkers. But that Eorland guy, huh, he's something. He really knows his way around the forge. Maybe I can work under his tutelage and share some ideas with him. Ah, feels good to hammer on steel again. It was tough convincing him, but after sharing that last euphoric idea I got during one of my skooma sessions about the repeated heating and cooling of steel with the use of fire and frost salts to come up with a more durable and purer steel, I finally got his interest. But with the Skyforge, my technique surpassed beyond both our expectations. The resulting steel was far better than any he has forged before. We decided to use the technique on armor, and so far we've managed to make a helm. We have decided to keep it simple but elegant for presentation purposes, as he said. The process was too time-consuming, and he didn't want to overdo something that may or may not be received well by the Jarl, or most warriors for that matter. Notes on helm process. Uh, damn them Nords. Apparently my helm is too light, unnerving to feel like you have nothing for, on for protection. Rongar believes that it was too much work for something of the same quality just for the sake of having it lighter. Bah! I need something to bash. Hammering steel in New Orleans' words of comfort isn't doing me any good. I need something. Something! Hmm. I believe Resad's caravan is outside the city gates today. Ah, sweet divine skooma. Hmm. Uh, Resad must have mixed in this sleeping tree sap in my stash after buying a bulk. Just had another idea during my sessions. What if I use the sleeping tree sap in the tanning of leather? I must share this with Eorlin tomorrow. I know he prefers working on steel. The man doesn't even have a tanning rack for Malakath's sake, but I just gotta get this out. He's skeptical as usual, but he allowed me to use the Skyforge to try it out myself, just as long as I didn't don't get in his way when he's working the forge. Said I was acting strange lately. The result is outstanding. The leather is far more flexible and durable. Thank you, Skooma. Now I just need to get more sap from Rissard. Might as well replenish my stash. Seems that last mix-up was his last on... His, on it seems that last mix-up was his last stock of the sap, but he did manage to point me to his source. Apparently he has befriended a giant at the 
at a sleeping tree camp and told me I could try my luck with a giant. I'll just have to mention his name and not and to take note, be warned. Sorry, he warned me, it's a weird font. He warned me not to bring or be under skooma when I do. The giant seems to hate the smell of it. Got myself a whole batch of tree saps and a new friend seems a new friend it seems. Uh, also met this Isolder woman, says she wants to buy some sap off me. I sold her a few excess and just promised to get her a lot more the next time I visit the giant. Anyway, time to work. I managed to create a whole armor from all the sap, and I might say, and might I say I work a lot better after sessions. Due to the increased flexibility of the leather, I managed to stack, meld, and stitch layers of the finest leathers together in my greatest work yet. Even Yorland was amazed at its quality, in a Enough to say it almost stands at a par with dragon scales. He told me to present it to the Jarl and his subjects. Ha, like it, Bolivian I will. After scoffing at, the, my, at my helm, they can lick the dung under my boots. Damn it, Jorland caught me hitting the skooma, and would you believe it, he sent the guards at me. Damn Nords. Ran me out of Whiterun. Well, it was either that or I could spend weeks to sober up in prison. At least I got away with my work. I'll head back to Dushnik Jarl and present this armor, then Chief Burgook will see me worthy. I shall name it Apotheus Light Armor. That Isolder is still holding me up to the sap deal. I could just sell it to the Khajiits. I'll need the extra gold anyway. Don't want to resort to banditry again. Might as well fetch her a batch. But first, one more skooma for the road. Hmm. Feels like I'm forgetting something. Was it something about the giant? Yeah. You're not supposed to take the skooma before you see the giant because it makes him go nuts. And thus ended Ulag. And thus ended the fucking journal. God damn. And here I thought I'd never get the chance to fly. <laughs> um, yeah, that was me thinking. I did not get the chance to fly. Very funny. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 I like reading stuff that's been written down like that, but I fucking hate reading it out on a, on a video. I suck at it so badly. That was probably painful to listen to, and I apologize. Okay, crazy purple tree. Yeah, it is definitely meant to be purple, isn't it? Yeah, because it's got textures. It's got textures. It's just, yeah, fuck. It's the same fucking color as, uh, as an object without any fucking textures on it. So that's kind of confusing, but hey, never mind. I really can't tell. Is it just me or is it crazy dark? I know it's like really sort of badly overcast right now, but I can't see shit on my monitor at the moment. Oh well. I'll deal with it. I mean, I can see just about enough to get around, but it's sort of a bit murky and getting a lot of glare off the sun, like I said. But anyway, nice giant, nice mammoth. Leave us alone. Thank you. Okay, sorted. Journal. I forgot I swapped my journal key with the... Uh, right. A natural selection. Inform Roderick that Thrivald is dead. Also, speak to Isolde about the sleeping tree sap. I guess we might as well when we're back in Whiterun. Although, right now, we're actually going to head south for Falkreath. So. Off we pop. Um, and, and it's probably going to be a really fucking boring journey, so I'm going to go ahead and edit it out, I think, probably. But then again, I don't know. It's been a while since we've been in this region. Might meet something interesting on the, along the way, I don't know. No, just random foxes and things like that. What's that up ahead? Is that... It's a deer. Never mind. Okay, I thought it might have been a sabre cat. Like I said, I can't see shit right now. <laughs> I, it kind of looks pretty in a sort of overcast, stormy sort of a way. But at the same time, I'd like a bit of sunlight. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, yeah, I remember coming down here when we first went to the... The, the grotto, whatever it was called, Hussein's Grotto, something like that. When we were chasing after Sinding to make sure he didn't get horribly murdered by all of Hussein's mad cultists. 
Good times. Good times. We were just a weedy little munchkin back then. Holy shit, what is going on? Did I accidentally imbibe some of the sleeping tree sap? Or what? Because... Okay, that was that was unsettling, but it's gone now. For, for those curious, I had to edit a setting under rain in, in my ENB settings um, to, to get that to go away. That was fucking strange. Never mind. Moving on very swiftly. We're half moon mill. We're on the right track. We're on the right track. Yeah, that was me singing the praises of this freaking A and B, and then bam, square rain of doom. Enjoy. Nah, it's good though. Uh, I'm using the seasons of Skyrim E and B for those curious. Obviously, it will probably say in the description, but there will be people who ask anyway. I'm sure of that. Uh... Yeah, this is really, really, really goddamn miserable weather. Like, this is completely uncalled for, Skyrim. What What is your problem with me, huh? Is this the warm welcome that back I get? It's like, hey, I'm going to play Chapter 6 now. Have some rain, dude. Have some rain. Absolutely free. It's on the house. Enjoy. And on a day where you can't see your monitor properly as well, you know. I'm just... I'm getting kind of hungry again, apparently, going to the thing. But that's fine. I can actually leave that until, like, the, the, the icon will get sort of more and more opaque as I get more and more hungry. And I don't really, technically speaking, need to worry about it for now, so I can just ignore it. You are wet. Yes, I am. I feel like I've gone the wrong way. I have gone the wrong way. Oh, man. No, it's okay. Okay, there's a second path here. Where Where is the path? Map's telling me there's a path. I think the map's lying. Either that or I can't or I can't see it, which is a distinct possibility. Yeah, it seems to think there's a path here, but all I see is a big sort of miniature mountain hill thing. So I'm gonna chalk that one up to the card dog for being drunk. What's that in the middle of the road? It's dead skeletons. I must have been this way before. Yeah, okay, we were supposed to go right to this place. When we were on our way through. Never mind. It's easy to get lost in the mist and fog and stuff. Hello, random Khajiit. Is that my eek? It must be my eek. Hey, look, someone, at least someone took the time to put fences up here. Why? I don't know. But they did. I mean, you, you seriously, why, why are there fences there? There's no reason for there to be fences there. It's not keeping anything in or out, it's just there. Oh, God. I thought the game was going to crash there for a second. That would be my famous last words when it, you just, you'd give it a second now and it'd just be BOOM! Gone. Checking the map every 10 seconds because I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> to be fair, it's getting kind of late now. It's getting, yeah, 5 p.m., so the, the light would be dimming now anyway. But the fact that it's just a torrential downpour of rain is not helping. There's a random dog on the road. Hi, random dog. Got better things to do, I'm afraid. I've already got a pet. Sorry. He just, you should have got there first. And here we are, miserable, miserable fog wreath. Although I still kind of like it for some reason. You know, when it's not. What the hell? Do not tell me you are backing out now. I thought you gnawed monkeys. I can't. I can't move. See, I'm not even a I don't like it here. There's too many bugs. 
yesterday. Yeah, I can sympathize. This town reeks of the dead. The odor is sour, pungent. Shut up, I'm trying to hear what these two are saying. It might be important, because I can't move. Sweet Jesus, why is, what is going on? Everybody leave me alone, let me deal with one quest at a bloody time, thanks.